I would like to talk about a different technique for mounting an altimeter. Um, but I have two rockets here that I like flying. They're from different manufacturers. I do fly also some Estes rockets as well. This is a high tech from Lock Precision. This is a payloader one from Quest. What's interesting about these rockets is that they have different size payload bays. This one's fairly long. And this one's fairly short. Now, the long one is really nice because the altimeter just slides right in there. Unfortunately, this altimeter can slide all the way down. That's kind of hard to get out unless you maybe use a forceps or use other things depending on how you mount it. Uh, the shorter one has a slightly different problem. Look at this. Estes comes with this little hook, sort of like a paper clip. It clips onto the nose cone, which would be right about there. But now this is not enough space for the altimeter. If you look at this, there's just barely enough space, but uh, there's just not enough space here. And I've used this rocket, I, I've had to force fit it and I've damaged the rocket. So I just really don't like doing that. So basically I have a different solution. My solution of course starts with uh, the answer to everything, which is Kevlar. And I just use a Kevlar loop and I'll show you how I attach this. <clears throat> so you can see what I've done is I've just taken a length of Kevlar cord. This is the 100 pound Kevlar cord, it's fairly thin. And a little tiny drop of CA glue on the knot and just loop it through the, the eyelet on the nose cone. It's a lot easier than trying to force this, this metal clip through it. And just simply pull it tight. And now that holds onto this. Now the altimeter in here will be held somewhere in this position. In this rocket, the altimeter will probably slide down a little bit, but that's okay. We still have the Kevlar cord here holding it straight. Now the other thing that I like adding to this is some way to keep this from vibrating and shaking back and forth. My answer to that, of course, is to use a Kevlar felt blanket. So again, a Kevlar felt blanket with a Kevlar loop on the end. I'll just attach this little loop onto the altimeter and we'll be all set. Okay, so all I do is just put the uh, Kevlar loop through the hole in the altimeter and just simply pull that tight and now this holds very tightly. So all I'm going to do is just take the altimeter after I turn it on, put it inside of this Kevlar felt blanket and just fold this up like this and then simply stuff it inside the tube and it holds extremely well. It keeps it from shaking around, holds it nice and tight, nice and snug and just press that right in and we're all set. Works really nice. Now, because I have four different rockets, the challenge is how do I take this all apart really quickly? Well, the Kevlar is really nice because all I have to do is just simply pull on the nose cone and the cord will pull the altimeter out, which is really nice. And then after this, it pulls the blanket out and it's ready to get stuffed into a different rocket. All I can do is wrap this up or, or, or untie this then just simply wrap this up and stick it inside of a different rocket. So that's the trick. If you want to be able to um, take your uh, altimeter and stuff it into smaller payload bays where you don't have a lot of room, uh, this works out really nice. So go ahead and try it out and see what happens.